welcome back to my channel. Today, another video about Ruby Monocode and waterproofing. One of my favorite YouTubers is Blacktail Studio. I'm sure if you're into woodworking, you've seen his channel. He's awesome. And one of the things that he started doing a while back is to apply to his uh, work pieces um, black forest ceramics. And it's kind of like a coating that he puts on Ruby Monocode to increase the waterproofing. And so I was like, oh, that's amazing when I saw it the first time, Let, let's buy some of that. And then I went to the website and I realized, oh, like it's in Canada, super expensive, expensive to ship to Europe. And so I was like, oh, uh, do I need to add this like to all the, like the price of my work pieces and stuff? And so I wasn't sure. And I was trying to do some, some research and figure out like what, what is like the special thing with that black uh, for ceramics. I obviously couldn't find out, like they must have a secret, like why this is so awesome. But I did see that you use like ceramic coating a lot in cars, for cars um, to make sure like it stays nicer, like when it rains, like it doesn't get like so dirty and so on. Um, and so buying some of that liquid, like ceramics, like for cars, like just to apply on cars, uh, it's actually much cheaper. Uh, it's like a big bottle and, and you can apply it. And so I was like, oh, does that work? Right? Uh, is it the same or does it like afterwards, if I apply it to my wood, does it make it look all ugly, leave stains or does it work? And so I was like, well, let's just try it. So I bought one of those uh, for cars and um, you apply it in a very similar way that the Black Forest one. You just need to rub it with a microfiber cloth um, on your workpiece and then shortly after dry it again with a, with a dry one. And that's it. And so if you look at those two here, those two pieces of wood, let me put it here. Um, there's no difference. You can't tell if I applied ceramics to one or the other. This one here has Ruby Monocoat and ceramics, and this one here, just Ruby holes, if you look at both of them together, no difference. So that's good. At least it doesn't ruin how it looks. And now the question is, does it have any effect? Because maybe it has no effect because I should actually buy the expensive one. Uh, so I'll just try it out. The same way I did it with other um, videos, I'll just put wine, a red wine on both of them and I'll dry it after a minute and see if there is any difference and um, then afterwards I'll leave it longer and dry it again and see if there's any difference and then we know if that was just like for nothing or if it's actually a good idea. Let's give it a try. Okay, all right, that was it. I left it on the wood for one minute, about, like more or less, and I'll dry it out and see if there's any difference. All right, as expected, no difference. One minute is not long enough. Even a normal Ruby Monocoat um, is able to resist one minute of a wine drop, so that's no problem, and I will repeat that and I will leave it on the wood for an hour and see if that makes a difference. Let's give it a try. All right, welcome back. Actually, two hours passed because I had dinner in between. So let's check out what happens with those wine stains. All right, let me show that to you in a close-up. As you can see here, clearly both pieces of wood have a wine stain and they're pretty much the same intensity. So the ceramics didn't really help to increase the waterproofing of the wood. And, and that's how it goes, right? Like you have a, you think you have a good idea, you try it out, want to save some money, put some different like liquids on it not the expensive ones and uh, yeah it didn't work out so bummer I, I might have to order those fancy expensive liquids from uh, black forest it was worth a shot 
Uh, I might continue experimenting with different things, but for this, yeah, don't use the ceramics you get for cars on your wood. It's not helping. All right, it's maybe not useful, but maybe it prevents you from trying out the same. And uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. See you around.